What wisdom would we impart to the world if it was our last chance? Make me earn it. A growing number of universities today are asking this exact question by inviting their best professors to give hypothetical last lectures, to think deeply about what matters most to them. That this lecture series used to be called The Last Lecture. If you had one last lecture to give before you died, what would it be? I thought, damn, I finally nailed the venue and they renamed it. <laughs> so, but to um, Randy Posh, you know, a computer science professor at Carnegie Mellon University, the last lecture he delivered this week was more than just an academic exercise. He has pancreatic cancer and expects to live just a few more weeks or months. Uh, if I don't seem as depressed or morose as I should be, um, sorry to disappoint you. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and I assure you, I am not in denial. I am in phenomenally good health right now. I mean, is the greatest thing of cognitive dissonance you will ever see is the fact that I am in really good shape. In fact, I'm in better shape than most of you. <laughs> on September 18th, here on the Carnegie Mellon campus, his last lecture was titled, How to Achieve Your Childhood Dreams. So anybody who wants to cry or pitter me can come down and do a few of those, and then you may pity me. <laughs> the 46-year-old father of three young children told me he has few regrets and has achieved so many of his goals. Walking in zero gravity, designing a theme park ride for Disney, and helping to develop Alice, the university's popular computer software project that allows regular folks to easily create 3D animations. Professor Pausch reminded his audience that it sometimes takes a while to see the good in people. So I find myself on the phone with a guy named John Snotty, who is one of the most impressive guys I have ever met. One of the things he told me was that wait long enough and people will surprise and impress you. He said, when you're pissed off at somebody and you're angry at them, you just haven't given them enough time. Just give them a little more time and they'll almost always impress you. And that really stuck with me. I think he's absolutely right on that one. Throughout his lecture, Professor Pausch spoke of the benefits of tenacity. Experience, he said, is what you get when you don't get what you want. When I was a kid, I was eight years old, and our family took a trip cross-country to see Disneyland. And I just thought this was just the coolest, coolest environment I'd ever been in. And instead of saying, gee, I want to experience this, I said, I want to make stuff like this. And so I, I bided my time, and then I graduated with my PhD from Carnegie Mellon, thinking that meant me infinitely qualified to do anything. And I dashed off my letters of application to Walt Disney Imagineering, and they sent me some of the damn nicest go-to-hell letters I've ever gotten. Uh, now think about the fact that you're getting this from a place that's famous for guys who sweep the street. Right? So that was a bit of a setback. But remember, the brick walls are there for a reason. Right? The brick walls are not there to keep us out. The brick walls are there to give us a chance to show how badly we want something. Because the brick walls are there to stop the people who don't want it badly enough. They're there to stop the other people. <laughs> Professor Pausch asked the audience to encourage their kids' creativity. He had written mathematical formulas on the walls of his childhood bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> and his parents didn't care if it hurt the home's resale value. They let him be the master of his own domain. And the great thing about this is they let me do it. And they didn't get upset about it, and it's still there. If you go to my parents' house, it's still there. And anybody who is out there who is a parent, if your kids want to paint their bedroom, as a favor to me, let them do it. Okay, it'll be okay. Don't worry about resale value on the house. <laughs> Professor Posh says more of us should think about what we would say if it was our last chance to say it. As he sees it, it's a gift you can give not just to other people, but also to yourself. It's not about how to achieve your dreams. It's about how to lead your life. If you lead your life the right way, the karma will take care of itself. The dreams will come to you. I'm Jeff Zaslow, moving on columnist for the Personal Journal. <laughs>